I was so stupid and I did not plan things out properly. And so now I have finals when I'm gonna be on a different continent. Yeah, I'm, I'm very stressed. Research ethics conference. get ready for my first class of the day i am feeling so stressed right now insanely insanely stressed to the point where i just I, I just am like last week i went through all the emotions like the whole five stages of grief of stress whatever it was i went through all of them and this week i'm just like mia you don't have time to feel anything <laughs> you just have to like do things. So this exam season, I'm really fortunate enough to say that I don't have any exams. It's all papers and presentations. To be honest, I would much rather do an exam rather than write a paper because papers take so long and exams are quick and done. Like it's just a lot less <laughs> stress to me than pa papers are. But I have two papers and then I have a presentation and the presentation Guys, let me tell you, I literally found out it's a presentation that's going to be next week. I am flying out on Monday next week. Fortunately, presentations start on Monday. So I'm taking literally the first slot of that Monday. That day is going to literally be me rushing from a presentation to the airport or else I'm going to miss my flight. My class I'm going to now starts in about 15 minutes. He's handing back our midterm paper for two-ish weeks ago and then hopefully we get a work day because I really need it. <laughs> so rainy today. Okay, so I am in lab right now and I am doing my biology grading work right now. I just got out of a meeting. I rushed from that meeting to here and made it in time. I'm gonna be working here for like two hours then I'm gonna go back to my apartment and do work. While I'm working, I'm gonna play a conference that I'm attending virtually. I'm attending this research ethics conference right now. It's actually really interesting, but I've been so busy. I haven't been able to watch it that much. So I'm gonna play some of the recordings and work on this. I submitted my first draft at like 2 in the morning last night. I told my professor I would like see him in the lab at like 10, 11. It's 11.30 <laughs> and I just got a bunch of chocolates for my professors as a thank you gift for the end of the semester because it is the last day of classes. But I need to go to lab now so I will talk to you guys in a bit.
after I went into the lab initially, I ended up just doing some work. But then when things really picked up, I brought out the rats, which were so cute. I'm so excited to be working with them. I have like 30 of them and we're all gonna become best friends. <laughs> then I spent like three to four hours just handling them and socializing them. I got about halfway through with them. The thing is like, when you start working with them, they really, really need to be like used to being around people. So that's what I'm trying to get them used to right now, like just being around me and being around like other people. After like standing around doing that, I am just very, my body is tired so i think i'm gonna work on my papers like i'm gonna curl up on my couch and then work on my papers i'm probably just gonna take a whole rest night like maybe do a face mask or something yeah good morning so i feel like i don't have a lot of schoolwork and except for like finals but i have a lot of other stuff that i have to get done like today i have to go get a haircut because my hair is like really really dead and i wanted to get it done the longest time now and i'm going to london in two three days at this point so i'm going to do that and then i'm gonna dye my hair too it's really messy right now because i'm trying to get ready for my trip and finish finals at the same time this was such a bad idea guys like it is what it is we're already here and I can get through this. It's honestly just a matter of going through each day and then letting things happen by themselves and just being ready for it. Today, I'm running a couple errands other than getting my hair cut. I have a dinner with one of my friends because they're really in town and we keep saying we're gonna get a meal together, but we've been so busy. And now that I'm gonna be going to London, I really wanna make sure I don't miss them. And I'm gonna try to get studying done in between the cracks where I can. I think I'm gonna have time to go to the library for a little bit after I talk to my professor about my thesis. We got this. Also, last night I think I slept like super weirdly or it honestly might just be because last night when I was doing my work on the couch, I was looking down the whole time. And then so when I look up it hurts. <laughs> uh, only a couple more days and then we'll be done. Guys, I'm genuinely so stressed out right now. I just had a little mini crying session because I totally missed my hair appointment. I had the event and then I had a meeting and by the time I was done, it was like 1.45. So I headed back to my apartment to rest a little bit before my hair appointment. It turns out my hair appointment was at two. So now that I've realized it, it's like too late. I felt so bad that I totally missed it and then he had to cancel my appointment. Now I'm stressed because I have to find someone else before I leave for the trip. So that's like what caused me to cry because I was so stressed. But fortunately I was able to find one and it feels like a, such a relief now but I'm going through it guys. Like I was so stressed, I didn't even feel stressed and normally I would not cry over something like that. I would feel like really bad and feel really stressed out in terms of like, oh my gosh, I need to figure something out. But I wouldn't cry. I legit her head. I was like so panicked. Okay, at least that is sorted out. I'm gonna go at 5.30 for that appointment. And for now, I'm gonna wrap some work up. how different my hair looks yesterday i ended up getting the haircut like i told you guys i got bangs that's already like something i'm not used to and second of all i dyed my hair it meant to just be a dark brown and i left it in for the recommended amount of time but like this is darker than my hair naturally is so i keep looking at myself and it just it doesn't look like myself 
now like that this is taken care of and also my nails are taken care of which i woke up really early this morning to get them done and it's only noon by now which is kind of crazy i've been awake for so long it's time for me to do like the final stretch of my final exams for the next 48 hours i am planning to do an all-nighter because in 48 hours i'm going to be getting ready to go to the airport and i don't have time i really don't mm. studying for six ish hours then i took a little bit of a break and then ever since then i have not been able to focus like i have been on and off studying going on and off tiktok so i decided it's probably because my place is really really messy like i am gonna clean my place because before i leave for my trip i already have to clean anyways and i think i just need to take a break from studying like my mind is probably so tired right now so i'm gonna clean the mess that has been building up yeah <laughs> my projector to my room so that I can play some music and have a nice background. It's only the start right now. <laughs> I have gotten so much work done in the past two-ish hours, I'm assuming because of that. I worked on a lot of like work stuff that I wasn't completely sure if I could even get to or do because I was just so busy, but I am so confident that I'll be able to finish this paper in time that I decided to do that. I think all the coffee I drank this morning and like throughout the day really, really helped me. I decided to start a four hour timer. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get through it, but we're gonna see. It is 2.30 right now. By the time it's done, it'll be 6.30. I think I can do it. I was also going to talk about this but if you have a plushie this is my lovely lovely baby from i think fourth or fifth grade i always hug her when it gets late at night it just feels so much more cozy i'm warmer and it feels less sad and lonely i don't know having a study buddy is really really nice i've hugged her so much <laughs> oh no <laughs> poor baby I'm going to be completely honest, that was probably the fastest all-nighter I've ever pulled. 
I was so focused. I was working on this project that I've been so stressed about because I've never gotten the chance to go around and do it, but I've practically almost finished with it and both of my papers are almost done. The only thing I didn't work on was my presentation, but honestly, like, I think the presentation will be totally fine. Like, I can 100% do that tomorrow. I just need to memorize that too. Oh my gosh. I should, I should not pull an all-nighter tomorrow. <gasps> I totally forgot to pack. I was so focused on doing this. The plan is I'm going to finish and wrap up all of my work and then pack tomorrow. I'm really in a focused mood right now and I just want to keep working. Hello. I was seriously just about to like record. Then I got an email and a text from my friend and turns out my presentations tomorrow are canceled. It's super nice so I don't have to prepare for the presentation because I kid you not, I literally just finished creating the presentation. This whole day I've been working and then my friends came over and we had a study session together. Now it's 10 p.m. I don't even know how the day flew by so fast, but in less than 12 hours, I'm gonna need to be at the airport. I have not started packing at all. Like this is the mess behind me right now from opening packages. So I need to start packing for my trip. monday the start of finals week and my last day being here i submitted my midterms corrections just now submitted all my finals online like i am i'm so happy i finished with all of them and the fact that we didn't have presentations is such a huge relief i didn't pull an all-nighter again but i did stay late to finish that one paper that i had left then i crashed after that like i did not film much yesterday because i was so busy and at one point, I think because I didn't get enough sleep the night before, I started feeling like really, really nauseous and really sick. But I feel great now. I got some sleep last night and I'm planning to do some work on the plane. I finished almost packing everything. I still kind of have a mess, but I guess that is the end of my finals week and it's winter break now. And I'll see you guys when I'm on my trip. Thank you for watching and I love you. Bye. Woke up at 11 o'clock. I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. I ain't hearing what you got.